Hey, I wanted to try and help everyone that's having trouble with installing the Giant Senator R3D plugins for Blender. I've already installed it, but uh, if you go through the way the video, it has a few things, uh, and there's a shortcut that I didn't realize. It's something similar to Maya. And it's probably installed and you just don't realize it. Uh, but y if you've downloaded the plugin, uh, but, uh, Blender, now I'm using uh, Blender 3.0. Uh, it says it's only good for, uh, for, uh, two set. Let's open it up and install it. It'll, it'll say, but it'll tell you it could not be found, yada, yada. But, what happens is uh, it's the same trouble I've always had with my every time I got an updated one or every year the new game come out. Uh, just wish I'd spent all that time with Blender, but <clears throat> you get that error message. Uh, don't worry, all is not lost. Go to Edit Preferences, uh, Add-ons, and you can see I've already got it installed. If you don't, uh, go to install. Uh, we downloaded, uh, and I believe, what's it called? Blender. Blender 279 Windows Zip. Click that. Do the install add on. Uh, you should get a message. Yep, see, module installed. You get that message. Everything's great. The only problem is, is this this will not generally show up. Uh, I searched for it, couldn't find it. I typed in export or import or giants, all that stuff. And the way I got it to install was if you go to, or the way I got it to show up, if you go to your uh, your users folder name app data <clears throat> roaming uh, blender foundation blender uh, yeah see I went back to 279 trying to get this thing to work but it, it, it'll work on three and I'll show you it'll work uh, but scripts add-ons and see uh, I installed some other add-on trying to create the path thinking the game would save it the re or thinking the exporter would realize it but once you uh, did the the zip file install, when you get the message modules install, it should create this IO export i3d folder here. And what I did to get it to show up was I just highlighted the Python uh, uh, files. Let me get the uh, directory here. Let's go to install. And let's go here. Uh, all right. So what I did is highlighted the Python files and did install add-on. Shows modules installed. And then I actually went to the utility. Uh, did all of those the same way. Went to the tools. Did those. Uh, went to the DCC. Same thing. Uh, can't remember if there's any there and not there. Once you do that, uh, close the blender down, uh, opened it back up, and then when I went to put in Giants, uh, it shows up as the dev game engine. You have to check that box. It won't be checked automatically, so you'll have to check it. And then uh, we're good to go. So the next thing is when you go to file export, you'll notice, and this is the same thing with Maya. It's not here. It's, and it probably will never be there. But uh, in the early, early, back in 2015 versions of the game, I think Maya that was actually there. Or when you did a save as or export, uh, you just did it as one. You, uh, it was weird. If you if you did an export, you could do it as an object file. But down here, it gives you the option to change it, and that was the workaround for it there. But anyway, the trick to this is to press the N key. That's November on your keyboard, 
and it pulls up this Giants exporter plugin. And this is where the developers back in, I think, 17, they started adding these. When I seen it in Maya like this, because you can actually export your XML files, all kind of stuff. That made it easier for them with the game. So naturally, of course, uh, it, it just took a little figuring out. But anyway, but right here, your output file, if you go to Blender, uncheck Blender file name. So now we're going to name this. I already did one for block. Let's just do cube. Cube 5. Now, what I'll do is it wants to see a path. And I already did it uh, testing Blender plugin. I already did two of them. So let's just do cube 5. And then set the 3D file. Uh everything's good there now you want to export all if you export if you just export the selected it won't show the shape file so we'll do export all and down here at the bottom export time so it should be there so let's go to what was it documents uh, testing blender plugin i said cube 5 yep there's cube 5 Let's open it up. <clears throat> you should be able to see our cube. Yep. We've just exported our first uh, thing or with Blender. For me, it was basically my third one. So I wish I'd spent the past 10 years learning Blender instead of uh, Maya. But uh, I hope this saves a lot of you time. I spent about two hours on it until I figured this out. Like and subscribe if you need any help, let me know.